This is Tobias Lutke, the CEO and co-founder of Shopify. Shopify is an e-commerce platform valued at $89 billion, according to this article on Macro Trends. Tobias does not want Shopify employees to have a side hustle. In fact, Tobias feels so passionate about this, he sent an internal memo to Shopify staff discouraging side hustles that divert attention away from his company. According to Tobias, Shopify requires an employee's full undivided attention. The, the work, work is, is simply, simply too important, important for, for humanity. humanity. Naturally, this memo raises questions about what an employer can realistically demand of lower level employees outside of their regular paid work hours. Let me know what you think in the comments below should an employee be able to start their own side hustle on the side outside of work hours does it matter if an employee wants to spend their time golfing or starting a business after work hmm. but here's the real rub with me when it comes to this corporate memo it feels like there's a mismatch between toby's stated beliefs and his own actions outside of shopify let me know if you think toby's expectations of low-level employees doesn't match with his own behavior as many have pointed out on websites like reddit the shopify CEO has business interests that go beyond the confines of Shopify's walls. For example, Toby began serving on the board of directors for Coinbase since 2022. According to Coinbase, Toby brings a wide variety of skills and expertise to the Coinbase board. First and foremost, he is a tremendous entrepreneur building Shopify from the ground up into a global commerce leader. He also believes deeply in the power of crypto and was an early adopter of crypto through Shopify's integration with Coinbase Commerce. I couldn't find any info on how much Toby will be compensated for his board seat. And it's also unclear how much time this board seat takes away from Toby's day-to-day -day responsibilities at Shopify. With that being said, board members usually need to attend regular board meetings, which can occur quarterly or more frequently. These meetings can last several hours or even a full day. Preparation for these meetings, such as reviewing reports, reading financial statements and strategic plans, can also be time consuming. You've also got to think about the additional time required for travel to those meetings that should be considered. Amazingly, Toby's business interests outside of Shopify don't end there. I know you're shocked. Toby has also found the time to invest in 32 seed round companies according to Crunchbase. These investments include a scheduling platform named Cal and a cross-platform file explorer called Space Drive. In 2022, Barron's also reported that Toby held more than 33,000 shares of Coinbase stock. Now, typically before I make an investment, I like to do my homework on the company. You know, review some quarterly reports, see what the analysts are saying about the company, kick the tires on their products. It takes me a little bit of time to invest money wisely. Bottom line, if I were an HR manager at Shopify, I'd certainly be concerned about the health and overall well-being of Toby's outside of the work activities. I mean, is this guy getting enough sleep to perform at a high level? How is he able to do all this? Should Toby really be focusing his attention on all these different seed companies that take away from the important mission at Shopify? Hmm. Of course, I think it's perfectly fine for Toby to do whatever he wants with his money and his time. I just find it head scratching when the CEO calls out employees who want to do the same thing and pursue a better financial situation in their own lives. I also don't think it's fair to blame Shopify employees for seeking additional income or more security through a side hustle either. For one, Shopify seems to glorify side hustles on their own website. As an example, here's a blog post titled 25 Side Hustle Ideas for Making Money in Your Spare Time. I guess this advice only applies if you aren't working at Shopify right now. Also, not everyone at Shopify is a developer making more than 100K annually. There's roles like this one called Customer Success Manager. According to Indeed.com, the estimated annual pay for this role is $56,174. This isn't a terrible salary, but good luck supporting a family on this salary with the rising costs of food and housing. And I certainly don't think you should be putting anyone on blast for wanting to earn a little extra side money that makes that amount. So what do you think of Toby's memo to employees? Do you think Shopify employees should be allowed to pursue outside business ventures like their CEO? Or do you agree with Toby and believe that it distracts from the company mission of doing e-commerce software? I'm looking forward to seeing the comments on this one. I'm a small channel and I read and respond to all legit comments I get on these videos. So long.